Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media, and I am taking myself a little break. I am taking a little break from tidying to do a collage. I don't know if you can see my chocolate or not. Oh, maybe not put it on the hot computer. Um, so my prompts. I was so off last time. I'm like, I'm gonna like keep checking for a while until I'm like. And then I'll get comfortable, and then I'll like stop checking, and then I'll be off again. And my my uh, my view here. I don't know what happened last time. Oh, I think I must have been zoomed in, and I didn't realize it. So I had to have my phone like way high up, and I couldn't even see. Um. So anyway, enchant. What is this called? Uh, hashtag Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge, and it is put on by Lori at Enchanted Dream 71. She's on YouTube and Instagram. So we pick five different ones. I pick them ahead of time so that I can go find the stuff and be ready for y'all. So I've got numbers, a picture of a book, which I was going to look that one up to see if that's really what it said, but I think it actually is a picture of a book. Something yellow, pattern paper, and a clock. So I've got a few things for something yellow. And, you know, I'll decide what I want to use when I get there. There's also yellow in the centers of those flowers. And the duck has some yellow. Then I grabbed a couple clocks, depending if I want to go leopard or more gringy. Let's see, he, if I use Grover, then, you know, we've got the same blues in there. So, so there's the clock. Let's see, a picture of a book. I couldn't find the one that I love, but found this little girl, and she's got a book in her hands. And, you know, Grover and little kids, Grover, he loves little kids, so I thought they'd be cute together. Let's see. Oh, pattern paper. I've got tons of that. Plenty of pattern paper, um, which just means, you know, a paper with a pattern on it. Although this one does actually have a sewing pattern on it, you know, if I want to get real real uh whatever oh and then numbers i've got some numbers here and there's numbers on the clock uh and then these are from some guest checks i might cut that one out of the guest check we'll see some more papers just for collaging in the background that's what these are a squirrel because you never know when you want to put a squirrel on a frog because when i was looking through stuff i saw the frog and i liked him more, more paper so these are all background papers so can some of that yellow. And then I was going to use her because, you know, for Grover. But now I've got this little girl with a book. So we'll see. She's there if we want to use her as a little extra something. And then, I don't know, this stamp is just floating around on my desk. So, well, I'm going to put it in my little floating around. This has some yellow in it too. So if I don't use one of these yellows, I still have this yellow. So there's my background papers. And... Gotta find a blank page. I don't want to use the bird. I think I got enough. I don't have to use the bird. The bird. Oh, and then I had enough, so I sewed the back pages together so they're not so flimsy. <gasps> something yellow. I might use him for something yellow. There's. I have somewhere. I have a picture of one of the pigs with a book in his hand, but I keep moving it. Next time I find it, I should stick it in there or something so I can know where it is. All right. Those so far. I've used all the pages. Okay, here's a page. Here we go. All right, let's just start sticking some stuff down. Mm -hmm -hmm. I've got some of that. And no, I don't always come prepared. So if you're new to my channel or your first time seeing one of my videos, I'm rarely ever prepared. Although I had, I mean, you know, I tried to be prepared. I've got some stuff here. It's just that my book pages, my, that's ridiculous. I just had them here. Well, I keep moving stuff, so I guess it's not so ridiculous. Fortunately, as I find blue books, I stick them over in a certain place now. And, um, when I can't find one, I go get it. When I find one laying around, I go put it in the pile over there. So there might not have been one next to my desk, but there was one over where I keep them now. Because I have totally reconfigured 
my entire space. All right, I'm already getting glue on my fingers. I hate that. Um, I've been having issues with glue. So I've been wearing, using the Workman's Friend Superior Barrier Skin Cream. Because otherwise the glue just really messes with my fingertips. So I usually put a little extra on my fingertips. As you know. I like to be able to feel things with my fingertips. And when I get glue on them and it just I I don't I can't feel things with my fingertips. Okay, put that back there so I can find it again. Cause they get all weird. I don't know. So I don't know if I've developed an allergy or sensitivity here to the uh the glue or what? And it's really hard to use glue stick without getting glue on your fingers because there's glue on one side of it, you know? All right. This is just some jelly plate print. I like to use jelly plate print where I can. It's collage. So if there's like some jelly plate prints I don't love, then I just put them, I just use them for collage. And then they're great as little bits. Although this was an, en an envelope. Also, envelopes are fun to jelly plate. Because then you don't have to go cutting around the window. If you get clean off the window while it's still wet, then you're good to go. Well, the paint is still wet, I mean. Just, I don't know what I said. Anyway, I hope it was... So, I think I did pick out a word for the year. And I think it is inspire. I want to do things that inspire me, which is kind of why I am also trying to tidy up my space cuz I think I can I think I can be inspired by a uh, a tidied up space. You know what I mean? I just my my goal is to get things off the floor. I mean, it's not anything grand. I just want to get stuff off the floor. <laughs> That's all. I, I just want to get stuff off the floors. That's my goal. That's my, not resolution, but you know, it's what I want to do. I just want to get stuff off the floor. All right, I think I want to use some of these. I cut out a bunch of, oh my goodness. There we go. A bunch of dictionary page with different scissors. The different, you know, like, this one's the uh, pinking shears. This one's a scallop edge. You get what I'm saying? And then I did the inking on the edge, edged, you know, and then they're just fun to use in collage. I've got them all ready to go. I can use them in collage. Uh, I think I even did a book cover, which you'll see eventually, uh, a book cover using them. Let's see. Got a little bit of the Russian trig book here. Ooh, there's more on that side. Uh, we're getting a little sticky here. I don't save my glue pages only because I have way too... I mean, if you saw my scraps and my bases for my tags and stuff, you'd be like, yeah, I get it. I get why you're not saving your glue pages. <laughs> it's just crazy. Ridiculous. The amount of stuff I have. And I like, I don't have shelves of stamps or shelves of stencils either, but I still have you know, plenty, more than enough. So many. Ooh, and then I was using some of Louisa Heinzel's, uh, oh, it's a cute little animals. And these were cut off pieces from it. So, go ahead and put some of these in here because they're cute and fun and will add to the, the ambiance of the background. I don't, okay, that one. When I'm going sideways, it doesn't matter so much, but if I'm going this way, it's nice if the music is upright, right? Right. I'd say so, yes. Um, da -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Don't know if that one's upright or not. It's not. I see the treble clef. 
Well, maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell. I, it's hard to tell. I think it goes this way, maybe. You know, put it on enough times. This one. Where do I want to put this one? Just in the middle here. It might get partly covered up, and that's okay, too. Uh, I think I forgot to mention in the last video, although you might have already seen some of my videos, um, we got some snow. <laughs> A little bit, about 11 or 12 inches of snow. So here's a little bit of sweater. Um, yeah, we got, and it's, it's not the amount of snow that's the overwhelming part. It's that it was just so heavy. I mean, we have a tree because, um, it's got, we have oh, the people that lived here before us. So it's been 26 years now. They planted, um, ivy English ivy and it's taken over everywhere so that almost would have fit there if I put it over a little bit more Can't, yeah I'll just use this piece and just go off the side and cut it off um so yeah it overtakes everything so we have a, a few trees in the backyard that are covered in ivy and one of those trees you know, with the heavy, heavy snow, it's just bowed over. It's just like, it's, it's, it's like an arch. It's, it could be almost one of the McDonald's, well, it's not quite that high of an arch. It's, but it's, it's bowed over in an arch position, that lovely little tree, the poor thing. And it's just, it's crazy. I've got quite a bit of pattern paper on here, don't I? No, I don't. I've got like this and that, I guess. And this now. I don't want to go too close to the center with that because this is like kind of a piece of cardstock. And I have this too. Do I want to use this? I really like this paper. We'll see. Def this has a number on it, so this takes care of our number if we don't get the other ones on there. And, oh, if anyone's wondering, I'm using Scotch Create Permanent Glue. And it does say on there, for it to be permanent, that you need to uh, do two layers. Like, you know, go over it twice, I guess. So, that's probably why I always get glue everywhere. That's not quite the right glue, I don't think. And that's, I don't think I want to use that either. Got another of these was thinking about using this but we're kind of on the teals but I don't mind having some blue let's see like maybe across the oh, I, don't know. I don't know all right well let me get some more of this background covered here with these little I just love these they're just they're already cut up put them any which way and they look cute every way and even if they are next to each other they still look cute like I that's what I did with the other ones is I um I just have them going all which ways all over the book cover it's too bad I don't know where that book cover is I mean I know it's somewhere but so yeah even if I did these as a whole background it would look really cool just saying I'll go sideways Um, that might be a good size for that spot. Especially with the inked edges and the... Oh, my glue is getting stringy. <laughs> oh, let's get some of this yellow in here, maybe. I mean, we got the bee, but still. Oh, and the bee's going to want some of these flowers, aren't they? That's, that's, where, that's why he's here, because those flowers... Yes, I'm getting gloomy down there. So, how is everybody doing? Is anybody else um is anybody else doing the organization thing, or did you just jump right into crafting? And I keep asking, so I'm hoping people answer eventually, <laughs> at some point. Is anybody doing any of the um challenges? Do you like challenges? 
Do you get stressed out by challenges and prompts and whatnot? Oh, I was thinking about using this for yellow too. It's like pretty underwear, it says. The stretchable color fast seam binding, which <laughs> I thought might be kind of fun to put, you know, with Grover. We'll see. Grover might end up here. He might not. We might just have a whole bunch of characters here. Like this duck might end up on there after all. Maybe the bee won't. Actually, I might save the bee and the flowers for another one. Because, yeah, I just might. And then, I think I want to stick this tag on here somewhere. That's another piece of yellow. Uh, where's my... Uh, getting sticky on here. It's time to get a new page. I like this tag. I thought it would be fun to put here somewhere. So, and I don't know about you, but when I do um, collage on a page like this, I, I like to make sure that my lines aren't lined up directly. I like to have them staggered. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to put that there. But I think my circle's not big enough anyway. So, is there anything on this? You know, sometimes you have brushes, they might... Nope, that doesn't have anything on it. Hmm. Don't have anything on it? Oh, enough to make it a little bit less white, I think, at least. Alright, so I want it to go that way. So, there, more yellow. Something yellow, we've got covered. We've got yellow covered. Put a little bit more of this on this side somewhere. Just to bring it to the other side. Doesn't have to be a lot. Um, yeah, so yeah. Are, are you doing a challenge? Do you like the challenges? Do they stress you out? I don't think I'm going to do any challenges because I want to stick with what inspires me. Oh, I think I talked about that in the last video. If anybody actually was able to get through it because, yeah, the videoing was, was not good. <laughs> It was sad. So, so very sad. Maybe we'll... Come down on this side. Since we have that hanging down over here, we can have this hanging down over here. So, I just need to fill out some more of the background here. I'm using little pieces, so it's taking a little longer. <laughs> Use big pieces, it takes less time. That's just the way it works. That's the way life is. Wow, my family's being nice and quiet. Oh, my dad was going to be going, driving back to Massachusetts today, but because of the storm, he postponed his appointments to next week because he was just going up for his... He has to go to an eye doctor every month, like once a month. If his eyes are good, it's six weeks. So we're always hoping that his eyes will be good so we can get, you know, have a little extra time with him down here. But during the winter, he goes up to his appointments and then comes back. Hmm. Maybe I won't have them both hang down. Maybe I'll have that one go to the side. So yeah, he goes up to Massachusetts for his appointment, stays with his mom and his sister, and then he comes back here. And then in the summer, he tries to go up to Maine as much as possible and spend some time in Massachusetts. And kind of avoids all the heat down here. <laughs> Although, we have AC, so it's not really too horrible. We have central air. Oh, see, now that I've done that, I'll do it down here, I think. And just add another piece of... That's too big. It overtakes it. I think I had these by... Nope, I don't have them by size. That will work. So yeah, I've got a bunch of scissors here that I used, and I just did a bunch of these up. I'm going to have to do some more. Do them in different colors, not just the brown, right? Hey, we're covered. It's all totally covered now. So, I kind of, okay, the little girl is facing in, so I kind of want to put her over here. And I think I want to ink her. Oh my goodness. I know where all my inks are. Do you know how that feels? That feels so good. I... Oh, that's why I want to be organized. Because it just feels good to be organized. And I might want to come in a little bit. Oh, 
take off that straight edge yet we we crafters we just and artists and for some reason we have a thing against sharp I mean straight edges I don't know why well she, that's gonna go on the bottom so I don't mind that totally all right I think that's good and I'm just gonna ink my edges cuz I feel like it and I think the other these edges might be with coffee and my coffee one is getting a little bit dried out this one was coffee but I refill it with my ground espresso because I have two coffee ink pads and this one was getting dried out so I refilled it with the ground espresso because I couldn't find an ink pad for ground espresso at the time so can we put him like up there I know he's floating but his body would have been down here right or do we even want Grover Grover doesn't have to go on here but you know some random little It's pretty like underwear. That's I'll have to see what it is, but it just kind of makes me laugh. So, and then we have this little clock, which has the color of Grover and the yellow. That's nice. Um, do we want her or not? We need something. Cause this is just like. Little girls are all in love with Grover. We love Grover. We're not in love, but you know, we love Grover. Oh, doesn't Grover fly like a plane? Maybe we should put that over there. Super Grover. A little nod to Super Grover. We only need one clock. We don't have to have a lot of clocks. And a random little duck for just no big reason just because we can if we want to and maybe we want to All right those are both 19 let's let's do this here I think well, it'll be right under him She's got orange, he's got orange, so maybe behind the clock, a little bit of orange, or not. Well, there's a little bit of orange in the clock. We'll see. I don't think that clock's going to work so well. And eh, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to. You can't make me. I'm just going to ink her a little bit to just get the white away. I could get out my other inker and do the um, the cream thing, but I'm not going to. Okay, see, I kind of want to put, see, there's just a lot going on right here. What can I do? Oh, I like the four showing, too. I don't want to put her on the seam, though. But the duck's facing this way. This is my problems. I got problems, I know. He can go over here more though. That can go over here. He can go over here. And I mean, see, I want that four to show. That's my problem. I'm just moving Grover further and further over. Who knows what we're doing? I didn't have that. See. She's only here because of the book. I mean, she's cute and everything. Don't get me wrong, but she doesn't really go with the aesthetic. So, I think I'm going to go find another book at some point. All right, I'll come over here, I think. All right, let's do him. Get him on there. And get this random. I don't know why. It just struck me funny that they're comparing... Um, in this navy, but it's got yellow in the picture, that they are comparing, comparing the flexi lace seam binding with underwear. <laughs> just strikes me as funny. I couldn't tell you why. It just does. And, you know, then I got more yellow. 
like to save these some not all of them but i like to save some of them just totally covering up some other stuff but that's right i like to save some of them for like a sewing journal so i don't always throw them out because they're they're vintage i mean i should probably save them i probably do save them all there's grover again i just like the look on his face plus i think i have plenty of these books i'm pretty pretty good at finding him and pokey little puppy for some reason and there is some glue on there and somebody's sugars are high and there's like four people upstairs and no one turns off the alarm for me it's pretty like underwear oh i forgot to put this under him do i still want it under him maybe i'll just put it maybe she'll stand on it all right i have somewhere around here i have some um I think she'll go there, maybe. I can put, I can sit her on there, I think. I have some book stamps. I don't know, if I had all my ephemera organized, then I would have been able to find a picture of a book. Because I know I've got some, but I do not have my ephemera organized. So I do not have a picture of a book. I have pictures from a book. Grover's from a book. This duck is from a book. Um, she's from a book too, actually. That's so why I was going to look and see if maybe it was supposed to be pictures from a book. But I'm not so sure. Oh, and I did want to put this on here because Super Grover... And it has yellow. So then I have yellow and a similar yellow to that, I guess. There's yellow everywhere. It says you something yellow. I go crazy with the yellow. All right. And I'm okay with it sticking up. Okay. There is some glue coming off. I'm using art glitter glue because I want this to stick. And I may stick it off the page a little bit too. Because I like that. I like when stuff sticks off the page. Hmm. Maybe here. There we go. That's just a little cluster I made a while back. Just stuck it on there. Um, so now I just need a picture of a book. And maybe I want to use one of these numbers somewhere else. These are just from guest checks. So I use the guest checks, especially the blue ones that are like a lot thinner. So I use them to make notes and then I save the numbers. So that I can use them on stuff because why not? Also, I like the type and the cut color, and you know, they're kind of cool, they're kind of cute. Put one there. Where's the other one? Here it is. Here it is again. Okay. Oh, I even keep the check number on there, apparently. Apparently, that's what I do. Oh, my fingers just stick into this. As long as the glue isn't getting on my fingers all the way. Hopefully, that barrier works. I try to remember to use it. Because, yeah, right before Christmas, I was having big issues. And then I remembered that Sue, Susan Brown of uh, uh susan taylor brown she's on youtube i'm in her facebook group too you think i could remember something more um but she would use it when she would do gel printing and stuff so that the the paint and stuff would come off her fingers easy, more easily all right i'm gonna pause you for a second while i find my stamps all right, I found my book stamps. Did not take long for that to happen, which is good. I am a little concerned that if I try to put them right on here, it's not gonna come out very well. So I'm going to, where's the, do I want black? No, I don't want black. I want Seafarer Blue. 
and I figured I'd do it on this little bit on the bottom, which is a little bit more plain. I think, and so I want to do it on this side, which is even more plain. Oh, I like the blue. Though. Well, we'll see. I've got the other side as an option if this side doesn't come out well. Comes out crooked. That's probably not going to come out great because I moved it. Well, it's a hint of books anyway. Let me cut that out. I'm going to cut it out in the shape of the books. I guess I'm going to take off that outside book because it didn't come out real great. And I'm just going to follow the outline of the books. And then we've got, I mean, a stamp is basically a picture, right? Also, I have, I'll use another stamp too, probably. All right, so we're going to put that down here somewhere. Can't really tell it's books necessary. It kind of looks like little towers. That's all right. We only have volume one, too, because it cut off volume two. Let's see. Why are people having a discussion outside my door? I guess they were quietly shoveling and then they started talking loud. I don't know. <laughs> no plows are coming, so no one can get up and down our hill. And it's a hill. All right, I'm gonna try this here. Maybe do this one in black or brown. Try brown. Can't see it. Can't see it. I need to re-ink this. Oh, and I found my re-inker, didn't I? Because I've been cleaning. So therefore, I found my ground espresso re-inker. All right, I only half paid attention when um, when Gail did this yesterday's video, I think. It was where she said, oh, somebody told her how to do it the way Tim Holtz does. All right, so I'm doing it in the center. And then... Take a card, push it down with the card. No, I'm probably doing it wrong. This thing was pretty. It really, it sunk right down into it though, didn't it? Because, because it was totally. I'm just going to see if I get some of that ink on the... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I told him I was recording. He's still... He don't care. I ordered some more coffee refill, too, for my other one. Alright, let's see. Is it going to be any darker now? Oh my goodness, what a difference that makes. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to try to do... Nope, because I need to see where I'm going with it. Um, oh, guess what else I know where it is? At least one of them. There we go. Know where one of my acrylic blocks is. Try to get this on the white part. And I might... I don't know if, uh, do I have any pink in here? I don't really. Just his... Well, his nose, but it's not the same. <gasps> oh, that came out really nice. <gasps> so glad I re-inked that. <laughs> That made such a difference. All right, so now I have a picture of a book. I'm gonna fussy cut it. Probably should put my glasses on. Where are my glasses? I don't know. We're just gonna try our best without our glasses. Yes, I'm that old. I have to wear cheaters. Readers, cheaters. I don't know. I've heard them called different things. Either way, the older you get, the harder it is to see things close up. I have to 
See, it's better for you guys. And that, I'm not cutting it perfect. I can see I'm not on the line, but I'm okay with that. There we go. Picture of a book. Grover thinks you should read. Oh, and I was watching uh, Artsy Fartsy Life, Tara Jacobson, and she was doing a collage with... See, speaking of reading, do you know who I'm going to say if I'm talking about reading and it makes me think of Dolly Parton? So, she was giving little facts about her, too, in her reading program, book program, I should say. Look at how cute that is. Don't forget to use your stamps. Oh, she loves reading. Reading is fundamental. I don't know where to put, the book's just going to float in the air, I guess. There is no logical place. For this book to go um yeah I hadn't thought that out had I because it's not really well it could look like it's laying on the floor there I guess or there there I'll just put it there it's just laying right there randomly maybe these books are standing up yeah these books don't make sense to me now because you can't tell their books I could have done them on the other side. But this one looks so good, I'm just going to use that one. Maybe we'll put that one here, where the other ones would have gone. I don't know. I understood the assignment. I hope. It's a little bit thicker cardstock. I probably could have used. There, it looks like it's sitting on a little yellow table, right? Sort of, kind of. All right. Did we get all the prompts? Where's the prompts? What did you... All right, I remember there was pattern paper. Definitely got pattern paper. Something yellow, picture of a book, numbers, and a clock. That's five things. Yes, I got them all. Oh, I was gonna add some of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of stamping here and there. In my opinion, now this is just my opinion. I mean, other people might have it too. But when you have a collage, and then you do a little bit of stamping over the pages well you know it it kind of unifies it a little bit you know what I mean makes it feel a little bit more like one piece especially if you can stamp a little bit more straighter than me more straighter yeah I know I went to high school I went to all the schools you know I still can't talk right <laughs> connect those we're just connecting just connecting the things Maybe a little bit down there because I don't have anything down there there we go I didn't want to really get it on her foot though per se per se Percy the train oh I have some over here I thought I didn't but I do All right. I love the seafarer blue. It makes me happy. That's why when I bought it, I also got the re-inker. Yep, that's how I roll. Oh, and then I also, this one's getting dry, so I got that re-inker as well, which they were supposed to come today, but I'm guessing they're not. So here is today's, oh, I was going to put maybe a couple numbers. I was thinking maybe it the brown region. We have so much blue on here. The number 32 is, is means something in, in my world. Maybe do an 89 down here. That's your graduated high school. Yep, I'm that old. Um, maybe 12 over here, or at least a 2. Maybe a 12. There we go. There we go. I got even more numbers in case there wasn't enough numbers. That really helped though. For some reason, just adding that little bit of brown, it finished it off for me somehow. I don't know. What do you guys think? Alright, so there is my collage for today. That was just the break I needed. A little duck, a little girl, a little grover. Just what I needed. You guys have a delightful day. Love you.